Hi guys, I was going to start a coding pattern course because what I observe, if we solve hundreds and thousands of questions, each one with different approach, we are not going to understand every question and we cannot uh, digest all of them with different approaches. Rather, what we can do, we can go through different coding pattern and then we will map question with a particular pattern and we can solve that particular question with the respective pattern. After learning coding, coding pattern, so first we have to get the skill to understand coding pattern. Then we will come across any question. We will identify that. We will try to map it with the particular coding pattern. And after mapping, we can apply our template. That will be the approach. So after getting that skill, you'll come to know that uh, just like if I will say what this shape is, you will say this is a triangle. What that shape it is a square. It is a circle. So the same way when we will come across some question, we will understand that this is triangle. This is a shape of a square. This is a circle. So we will map it. Even we know that this is some sort of circle also that because we, we will find that this is very this shape is pretty close to some of circle shape that the way we will do we'll first learn the coding pattern and then we will try to map each question with little bit diversity to the particular respective um, pattern. So what will be the approach in the next coming videos? I will go through uh, some coding pattern. I will explain it, what that pattern is. We will come across this template. So after explanation, I will come across different examples, mostly from eight to 10. These will be from lead code so that we can practice also with the code. The same way we will go through that. So for sure, if you will get some nine or 10th question, 11th question in future, you can map it with the respective temp of pattern and you can solve that. So what are the coding pattern I'm going to come up with? The first one will be top K element. Now uh, I, I will just read out all of them and for sure in their respective video, I will explain how we get what they are, how to identify some question and what's the template to solve those questions. So first will be top key element, second will be sliding window, then fast and slow pointers, uh, like a hair and turtle problem also. Two pointers, merge intervals, cyclic sort where um, we had to sort some elements in big of N. Then we will come across two heap problem. In two heap actually we will get uh, whenever we will come across some question that has to be divided into min heap and max heap, and then we have to identify, we have to get some respective elements. We will see that. Then we will come across K wave merge, binary search, pretty famous. And we will also come across some questions which were not explicitly saying that this is a binary search question, but we have to mold it and we will, we will apply binary search on them. Then there is a backtracking. There are a lot of questions and mostly those questions could be changed to uh, recursion and then uh, memoization. And then with the DP, we can easily solve them. Then we will come across in place reversal link list, then topological sort. There are about six or seven questions for that. For BFS, breakfast search, depth of search, graph. So in graph, actually, what we will do, we will try to find some question and we will see that if that question uh, could be converted into a graph and it is a directed acyclic graph or bidirectional or what type of this or it's a weighted graph or what. And then we can apply respective algorithms like frames, critical, digest algorithm on that question and we can solve that. Then we have a uh, knapsack, matrix chain multiplication, shortest common subsequence. Uh, we'll solve them in dynamic programming. And we will also explain that how we can make a recursive memoized code into a recursive code. 
Then we'll go through Cadenza algorithm. There are a few questions that can be solved with that algorithm. Buy and sell um, question. There are six or seven questions. All of them will get the same template approach, how to solve them. Then we'll come across that, okay, for what particle type of question we can use a DAC. And then we can apply that data structure to solve those questions. Also, MAP, it is a very famous uh, data structure that is mostly used, and, but we will come across some pattern that what we will find, what we will feel, observe in a question that let us uh, motivate to use that data structure map. Then we'll also look for stack, that we which part of the questions that we have to use stack and queues. And finally, for sure, recursion, that is the most important. For sure, the, the, the sequence is not exactly the same. That will be uh, hopefully with different uh, priorities, we can change the sequence. But uh, the approach will be uh, in this way. We will try to explain our pattern. First, we will understand that. After, we will go through some template that what will be the template to solve such type of questions and then we will explain further with some example that will be the approach and first i will come across all the videos all pattern i won't go and solve each question rather we will go with the bfs approach first we will come across all coding pattern so p1 so p2 p3 so four and so on so so first we will come up with the videos for each pattern. And then further, we'll go for question one, question two, and question three, and so on. So for solving the question, what will be the approach? We will come across the question. We will understand it first. This is also some way that, what's a better way, how we can understand some question. We'll try to break it down and let's see that how, what will be the simplest way to understand some question. And then we will try to identify so that which pattern we can use. Once we will identify, we will apply let's post pattern two to solve that question. Further, we'll go through some complex question. There will be some complex question that for sure can't be solved with a single pattern. What we will do, we will identify them and uh, we will identify we will make the parts of it so part one and part two and that part might be could be solved with pattern one and this part could be solved with pattern two so we will divide and conquer we'll divide for solving some complex questions so well instead of solving a uh, hundred or thousands of some questions and each one with different approach rather we will learn few coding pattern and we will apply on by the thousands of questions we can solve them. Let's see. Thank you.